afternoon, folks. Well, that's when I'm recording this. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. Hope things are going well in your neck of the woods. I'm doing a gift request. Montauk Ed made a gift to the channel for me to do this one. So, Ed, thank you for this gift as always, my friend. You just salted the earth, and uh, I appreciate you to no end, really. I hope to be like you one day. But Mel McDaniel, the Reverend and the Madam. And... I don't know the song. I, of course, I've reacted to a number of Mel songs. I don't know if this is going to be funny. It sure sounds like a funny title. The Reverend and the Madam, but it could be a very dark song. Title like that, I don't know. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, no. His old student Baker died. I'm all wore out inside. Reverend Luther slammed the door and he walked away. Reverend Luther. All he owned was on his back and his Bible in a grocery sack. A traveling man of God preaching for his pay. He walked ten miles through the night to a house with a scarlet light. He said a prayer and he knocked upon the door. Might go well though. The lady dressed for sinning. She thought he'd come to love her women. When he said, I'm Reverend Luther, Lord, feet started hitting the floor. <laughs> Reverend Luther and the madam, the Lord and Satan was a heaven at him. He'd preached all his life against sin. She'd spent all her life against men. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is going to go where he winds up falling, or she winds up getting converted, or talking him out of sinning, or something. There are a lot of scenarios. This is a great setup for a song. Lord, he quoted some Bible verses to drown out all the curses. Reverend Luther saw a challenge. She thought he and the Lord could win. The ball paid for pleasures that a mortal man still treasures. The touch of a lovely woman is number one. Yeah. All the madam saw her duty, so why be a judge and jury? She made Reverend Luther a man before the rising of the sun. But the sparks that flew that night turned to love by the morning light. And the Lord and Satan wondered which one to change her ways. He sounds now like Chris Christopherson. drives her Lincoln, but it's not true what you're thinking. She's in church every Sunday when Reverend Luther kneels to pray. There you go. Reverend Luther and the madam, the Lord and Satan was a heaven at him. He'd preached all his life against sin. She'd spent all her life against me. Walk through life together, sharing storms and sunny weather. Reverend Luther saw a challenge. He thought he and the Lord could win. They won. Reverend Luther saw a challenge, and the good Lord always wins. Not always. There's too much shit in this world for that to be true. Shining Sea. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like the development within that. I saw some of it coming, and I'm happy when I do because sometimes I'll make a guess and I'm like way off. They do an end run and I got it all backwards. But hey, that's the nature of guesswork with uh, narrative development. But yeah. Ed, that was fun. I mean, I knew you knew I'd have some fun with this one. Um, she's in the she's in church every Sunday now, and I guess they're together. They're an item, and in the Catholic Church, that's not allowed. But in other denominations, men can marry. I know the Catholic Church originally the reason why it was prohibited to marry was because priests were given like property and homes, for example. To, to live in and they were they were given them and then if the priest died then the wife would get it 
and then that property would be outside the the uh, the purview of the church. This is how I understand like the basics of how the development of the pledge of chastity would be uh, for priests, where in order to become a priest, you had to be celibate, not have a wife. And that leads to problems because, I mean, we got desires. We're all human. Men and women have desires, sexual desires. And it's very hard sometimes to not go that route. So I don't know what denomination Reverend Luther was, but maybe it was as opposed to Father Luther. So Reverend's a denomination where I guess being married was allowed. But didn't he say in the beginning of this song? I thought he said something. He didn't say it wasn't allowed. I may have been thinking that. But then when he brought in like the touch of a woman and all that, and it's like, yeah, that, absolutely. I mean, we all know what that's about. So I, uh, Ed, that's a good, too many thoughts. Um, I'm going to rate this song. I, I, of course, love Mill's voice. I love the way he delivers things. I've reacted to a number of his songs, but I've never made the... I don't think I've ever commented that he reminds me of Chris Christopherson when he sings. And in this song, it was most prominent, hence the connection. But storyline, good. The instrumentation was simple. But, you know, of course... I like the fact that I figured it out, but that doesn't make that doesn't doesn't factor into the number that pops into my head. Um, as a yeah, I, the number that popped into my head, and I'm bringing fire and brimstone on my head for this one was an eight point nine, and so this is going to invoke the posse, meaning sheriff, detective Jeff Cather. And I don't know if there are going to be other henchmen that show up at my door in Zimbabwe, New Jersey for that. But uh, 8.9 for Mel Song. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get on the lamb now so I don't get caught. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.